Okay, so hello everybody and welcome to our first Big Tilt webinar. Thank you for joining us. I'm Heike Lück, General Manager of Volpet, and will be your introduction host for this presentation. So our panelists today are Cameron McCormick, who I don't need to present anymore. Cameron is our brand ambassador since 2019 and founder of Altos Performance. Guillaume Biojo, who is part of the Volpet team. He is Director of Instruction of Altos Performance Orlando. And Mark Comives, Comives, sorry. Mark is a Welpet advocate ever since he got to know us. And he's Director of Player Performance at the Florida Gulf Coast University in Fort Myers. We have a fantastic show planned for you today. But before we are starting, I'd like to review a few items so that you know how to participate in this event. If you have any questions, you can post them in the Q&A window in your control panel. We will collect and address these during the presentation and the question and answer session. And at the end of the presentation, we will unveil the future evolution of the Big Tilt. So stay with us. And now let's move on to the main presentation. Hey, Mark. Gee, good to see you. Good to see you. Pretty excited about this first Wellpad Big Tilt webinar, right? Very much so, very much so. Happy to host here at Florida Gulf Coast University and uh, highlight all the really cool features with the Big Tilt product line. Yeah, thanks for having us. And uh, yeah, we will have three videos. First one, you're going to present all the features of the Big Tilt. Okay. And after that, I'm going to try to help you with your setup. And you're going to show me how good I could be with this Big Tilt for putting, right? Exactly, just to showcase all of the really cool features that Big Tilt offers, both for coaches and for players. Absolutely, and at the end, we will take all the questions you have regarding the Big Tilt. Uh, it's gonna be Mark, myself, and Cameron McCormick. So please uh, stick with us and we will hear for you. So in this segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about the overall features of Big Tilt. And the first important feature of Big Tilt is that it is an integrated solution for projection, green reading, and adjustable platform. So the Big Tilt platform is available in many custom sizes. We have the XL Pro available here today. Um, but the integrated solution allows for complete training um, by students and in a holistic coaching solution for coaches. In addition to the platform, you'll notice the surface on Big Tilt here is the um, custom surface by Wellput. Uh, what I love about the custom surface is that it is by far and away uh, the uh, most pure rolling surface uh, for a golf ball. So it offers extremely realistic uh, ball roll uh, characteristics. Uh, this platform here was actually the original prototype um, that we were fortunate to have here at FJCU from the Wellput team. Um, and our platform is over uh, four years old now, and um, how it has held up is really, really remarkable from daily use. In addition, the Big Tilt uh, operates off of uh, iOS-based software and platforms, so it can be operated off iPhone or iPad, making it extremely versatile. So whether you have a, a podium system for an iPad or iPhone, or whether you want to be more mobile as you operate around the platform, um, either of those solutions work really for golfers out there looking to improve their putting performance, uh, Big Tilt offers the ultimate training environment. Uh, with it being completely customizable, uh, Big Tilt allows us to work on all three skills of putting, green reading, speed control, and start line. It also allows you to practice your own putting process and routine. You can utilize the training modes that are available, training programs, and through Putt Essentials. But most importantly, it allows you to be consistent with your training process. On a daily basis, if you're a Big Tilt um, user, you can work on the basics of setup, the fundamentals of testing your green reading ability, and making sure that your speed control is dialed in on a daily basis. 
It also offers versatility, being able to hit putts of different lengths, and being able to easily edit slope amounts simply by the touch of a button on your smart device. So to operate Big Tilt, um, it's going to work off any uh, iOS device, so iPhone or iPad, um, using an iOS app. So we have an iPad today downloaded. Um, the platform is going to connect to our iPad via a Bluetooth connection, so a standardized connection. Uh, we've already turned the platform on by uh, selecting the on button, so we'll go ahead, open the app, and select connect. Our Bluetooth connection is going to uh, recognize our platform here in just a second. We'll go ahead and select it. It'll take a moment to connect, and then we can go ahead and select Train Now. Uh, we have a few different training modes. We're going to start by introducing the free training mode, and the first prompt is going to be to go ahead and adjust our platform. So if we want to train on a level surface, it will always default to that. We can go ahead and adjust it with the slider bar at the bottom, up to 5%, right to left and left to right. So we'll just go ahead and select a mild 2% right to le left slope, and select Train Now. The platform will then go ahead and actuate. If we needed to stop it for any reason, we can, of course, select the emergency stop icon at the bottom. Once the platform has completed its adjustment, it will default back to our slope adjustment screen. We can go ahead and now select choose line. From this view, uh, we're able to putt from different uh, points on the platform, as we call this our select point view, to any of the uh, eight holes on our big tilt uh, Excel platform. So we can go ahead and just simply drag and drop. To go ahead and actually display uh, the putt projection, we'll push show lines at the bottom. And you'll notice the projection appears on the platform. We have the option of the right slider bar to adjust the size of the projected putt line. So that image can be made larger or smaller. And the right adjustment bar is adjusting the actual curved ball path at the selected capture speed. We also have a slider bar on the left in the app that's going to uh, show the start line, and also maybe called the aim line of the putt. And we can adjust that to show, um, be projected all the way up to the hole for our target, or we can uh, adjust that feature further down. To uh, adjust some of the more advanced uh, preference options, we'll just select the Preferences tab at the bottom left. And uh, the first option we have there is to actually adjust the capture speed of the putt. Um, so when we're uh, practicing our breaking putts, sometimes we'd like to uh, practice and train at different capture speeds so we can uh, select and unselect some options here. The default will be the well line, which is the ideal capture speed. If we wanted to show a more aggressive capture speed, you'll notice that the curve automatically uh, adjusts based on now the aggressive, more direct ball path. We can also show the fall in line, which would be the maximum break amount. And you'll notice that the curve adjusts accordingly. What's really cool with Big Tilt and the well line projection system is we can show combinations of break. So you'll see now we have both the aggressive line and the fall in line displaying at the same time. We can even add in the well line to show the entire possible range of ball pass for the putt at hand. Really, really cool training device to work on our green reading skill. Another nice feature is we can uh, adapt the aim line <clears throat> to show the aim point only. So we can turn that feature on. And when we activate the aim line with the slider on the left, you'll notice now we just get an aim point icon. We can adjust that either in line to our target hole or we can um, adjust that closer to the player if they want to work on such um, a, a more of a starting point concept. Or we can turn it off completely by sliding down the slider on the left. Some of the other more advanced preference, uh, preferences <coughs> that we have is uh, we can actually show um, a really cool gate training drill. <coughs> we'll go into this concept a little bit more in some future videos. We can adjust the size of the gates. We'll go to the default for now. And you'll notice along the ball path we now have um, projected gate image. What I love about that feature is as a coach, this gives me uh, default icons where I can set up physical targets as well if I want while I'm training and working with my players.
Another cool preference feature is the ability to actually project a stance or foot line. We can change the size of that foot line. We can also um, adjust the, the uh, foot positioning that we project. You'll notice now on the platform the stance line is showing. And that's going to show parallel to the start line of the putt. And then nice coaching features, we can actually um, <coughs> show the uh, entire putt length and the projection. It's displayed in meters and feet. I find that as a really great coaching tool to actually test players and see if they know uh, the length or distance of putt that they're actually facing. You'd be surprised as a coach at some of the answers you'll receive by your players. And of course, if we're working with a left-handed player, we have an option to switch um, some of the projection features from right-handed to left-handed, in particular that stance line icon. This last preference option is the well stroke feature. We'll go in uh, an in-depth uh, segment on that. But this allows us to actually display the well stroke uh, curvature onto our platform. We'll do just a, a basic 12 degree curvature. Go ahead and uh, leave it at the um, default radius. Select OK. And you'll notice now that we have a 12 degree arc projected for a left-handed player. If we wanted to go back and make it right-handed, we'll just select that preference and it automatically flips the icon around. So no more moving your well stroke mats. We have the well stroke built in to the well line projection feature. Super, super cool. What I love about it is we can actually customize it for any player. So if they're, um, we wanted to increase the arc, say to a 20 degree, it's as simple as just clicking a button. You could also adjust the radius of the stroke as you wanted. One ten uh, centimeter would be the default. Simply select OK. Close the preference option menu, and the arc will automatically adjust. So really, really cool. All of the preferences built into the Wellline projection software. So when training with Big Tilt, um, what's really ideal is that we're able to completely customize the projection system for the player. Um, so when coaching clients, we might start out with um, the image shown on the platform currently showing uh, both the um, path of the ball and an aim line feature. This is great for training concepts, um, but as we um, uh, dial in and refine the coaching process with an individual student, um, sometimes we find it easier to actually start to remove the projection features so the student can train and practice on their own. So we can very easily take away the path of the ball, leaving simply the aim line, and we can refine that further to really show something as simple as just a pure starting line for the capture speed developed um, and designed. So uh, this is for the ideal capture speed uh, shown. And this allows the training to become very simple for the player. So they can literally just work on, can I start my golf ball online, knowing that their read is proper for the target at hand. What's really cool then is we can simply, with a touch of a button, change our starting position, change our target, and the start line projection will automatically adjust and adapt for the player. So it allows the player to be able to train from different lengths and at different angles to the hole simply by two clicks of a button. Really, really cool feature. So in our iOS software, we have two modes that we can operate Big Tilt in. Currently, we've been in the select points mode, which allows us to putt on the platform from a designated starting position to any of the eight uh, available holes in our Big Tilt XL model. Um, another cool uh, feature, though, is the second mode. We call it free placement mode. We can adjust that by selecting the icon on the bottom right. And this allows us to adjust the starting point of our putt to literally anywhere on the platform. We can even invert the platform to be able to putt from back to front. And notice we can also adjust where we're putting to. So we can putt to any of the hole locations in the platform, the physical hole locations available. We can also, one of my favorite things, is to actually putt to what we call a ghost hole. And simply we can go ahead and select show lines. And we'll get the same projection features that we would to one of the physical golf holes to now a ghost hole uh, projection. What's really cool about this is we can actually have a projection of the path of the ball through the hole. Really cool training 
uh, program to help golfers envision speed and where they're trying to stop their golf ball um, in relation to a distance past the hole. It will also show us the angle into the ghost hole that the putt needs to enter from for its given capture speed. So if we go ahead and adjust perhaps, let's say, to the fall in line, you'll notice that our projection automatically adjusts and adapts. And again, we can simply shift the projection to putt from any location on the platform. One of my favorite things to do as a putting coach is to actually show all three capture speeds at the same time and the difference in how far past uh, the ghost hole the golf ball will release out to. Uh, generally, a, a much more significant difference than typical golfers tend to think. And again, free, point, uh, uh, free mode allows us to literally putt from anywhere on the platform, even inverting it when doing games and challenges is a really cool feature. And that is free mode in Big Tilt XL. So to highlight another feature in the uh, WellPutt Big Tilt app, I'm going to go ahead and select Putt Essentials, which is a training environment to work on the fundamentals of putting. And a cool thing we can do in here is actually show the uh, impact of green speed changes on a selected putt. So we'll go ahead and pre-select the uh, putt. We're on 4% of slope. We'll go ahead and select train now. And the projection will go through a demonstration mode to show the impact of green speed changes on our break amount and the aim point. So this is uh, starting out by showing us a stimp of approximately seven feet and it will uh, cycle through default uh, stimp amounts, nine feet of stimp, 11 feet, so forth, and actually highlight the projection changes. Um, for those users um, using aim point or um, a line or distance based screen reading systems, this is an awesome training environment to actually work on those aim point uh, alignments and the respective ball path curves that are associated with. The second putt essential that we can highlight is the impact of slope on our putt. So we'll go ahead and select the slope impact feature. We can select it to um, putt length of any distance. We're going to go ahead and leave it at 0% slope. When we select train now, well line is going to project and show us the impact of uh, slope amount on our putt. So we are demonstrating left to right slope for a putt of approximately seven feet at a set stimp of 8.1. And you'll notice for the slope amount one, two, three, and four percent, we'll get both an aim line, aim point image, as well as the ball path associated. Really great training for those individuals using um, uh, line and spot based screen reading systems, um, such as aim point express and others. So our third putt essential is going to be speed air. As we select this, we can preset to a specific slope amount and putt distance. When we select train now, we're going to see the impact that uh, a player's speed air or air and ball speed will have on the putt. So we start off with perfect speed and we're going to see the impact of hitting a putt now 5% slower ball speed, 5% faster ball speed, 10% slower ball speed, and 10% faster ball speed. Again, this is keeping the uh, start line, aim point of the putt, the same, and this is demonstrating at a stimp of 8.1 feet. What we're going to notice from a coaching teaching perspective is that air and ball speed uh, significantly impacts our finishing location of the putt. Um, generally speaking, much more than a start line air will. The fourth putt essential is going to be our aim point or start point air. We can go ahead and select again our slope and specified putt. And when we select train now, we're going to get projected image of air now in starting line. So it starts with the perfect aim uh, point start and start line amount for our slope selected. We, here we have a 6.7 foot putt. 
That's going to show as we change the start point, both lower and higher, 25% each, and then 50% each, the differential in the uh, associated ball path and end point of the putt. We'll notice that the differential, while not as great as perhaps a speed error, um, will influence the path of the ball and can influence the make rate and percentage of the putt. So another great training feature for players and demonstration feature for coaches when working on start line and aim line training. So another mode in our Big Tilt software is being able to actually demonstrate different training programs. We'll select that with the middle tile on the screen. And we have several different uh, now training specific modes that players and coaches alike can use. Analysis mode, performance, uh, simply training mode, and gaming. If I select performance mode, um, you'll notice that we have some different options. Uh, I'll use timing pressure as an example. So these are performance-based training environments. Go ahead and select train now with timing pressure. And the Big Tilt um, will provide us with a randomized putt at hand. And uh, it'll give us a countdown window that the player has to read the putt and go ahead and make it within a specified time. So when you're working on a player's green reading routine, their putting process, and ultimately execution of their stroke, a really cool training environment to encourage efficiency in a player's skill set. It will automatically then adjust to next putt at hands, and you will uh, essentially play an entire golf course in this uh, timing pressure mode. So as a coach, it really allows you to be able to see you know, where a player may be getting hung up in their routine um, or any uh, deficiencies that they may have as they walk in and then execute a putt when it actually counts with uh, timing pressure involved. Um, in this mode, we also get automatic slope adjustments, so Big Tilt will randomize the slope feature, so now it has adjusted to 2% right to left slope, and you'll notice that um, the putt uh, distance and target will also randomize as well. It's a really cool training environment for both student and coach. All right, so next in our training program environments, if we select analysis mode, this allows um, players and coaches to assess a student's uh, skill sets. So for instance, we're gonna select slope for reading. And uh, this is a great, uh, particularly for coaches, to test students' ability to identify uh, slope amount and break direction. Um, so Big Tilt's going to go ahead and set up a specific putt. We have a left to right uh, putt of 1%. We can have a student read the putt, or if the student themselves is training, they can go ahead and mark um, the slope out with whatever green reading preference they choose, maybe using a ball marker, start line, gate drill, et cetera. And we can go ahead and actually verify the slope amount via the well line projection. And it will go ahead and give us the total area of slope from the target line up to the max break amount. We'd have the player then demonstrate and hit the putt, see if they're accurate with their read of both break direction and break amount and we can then randomize to a new slope percentage and new putt by selecting next hole. So a really cool training environment to test the student's ability and also to test them in a randomized manner by following the Big Tilt training protocol. All right, so in highlighting uh, gaming mode now in our training programs, uh, this is a really cool mode, particularly when working with maybe junior golfers um, or anyone looking for some competition. We have some different projections we can utilize. Today I'm going to select the honeycomb projection. We'll select train now. And Bill t uh, Big Tilt's going to designate uh, to the default slope of 0%. And the graphic displayed under honeycomb is going to give us a really cool training environment to work on um, ball speed, uh, capture speed, delivery speed, and ultimately end point uh, of a putt. So what you'll see is we get our honeycomb projection. We have different point amounts displayed. This could be very easily integrated into different uh, competitions um, into uh, particularly maybe if working with junior golfers or even uh, adults. Okay, so I think we could do a short break.
and uh, and everyone is very welcome to send us his questions. Send us your questions uh, to this part of the features of the Big Tilt. And um, yes, and let's our experts replying to your questions. Um, yeah. I think that maybe you, I think you have to unmute uh, Mark, uh, Guillaume and Cameron. Yeah. So I see your first question. Does okay. Um, do uh, Guillaume? Do you also see and do you also see the questions? Yes. 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 Does okay. big tilt from Colby Powell? Hello, yes. Colby. Colby, thank you for the question. Does big tilt have a diagnostic mode to see what? RS players need to improve and average ball speed. Um, we do a diagnostic, but by our own, uh, Big Tilt is not providing directly uh, a, a mode to assess players. Um, but this is maybe Aker going to talk about this at the end. Maybe we'll be in the next um, the next features that the Big Tilt will provide uh, as stats and be able with stats to create uh, a plane for your players. So right now there is no real diagnostic by the big tilt, but all the coaches was using it, uh, got their own diagnostic. So if you want us to provide maybe uh, myself or maybe Mark, we can provide what we do, but there is no, there is not an assessment mode inside the big tilt um, app. Yes. Yes, for us, the Big Tilt is really, it's a tool for coaching, but it doesn't replace the role of the coach. So that's really something what is very important for us. And so it helps you for to analyze and to, to, uh, to make the different tests, but the, the analysis and uh, what has to be done, that's uh, on uh, the coach's side to do that. It, it, it maybe if you want a simple example, uh, I'm using some stat apps who can tell me what is the main problem of one of my player if is um, better on the right to left or left to right pot. And with the stats, I can build uh, the role training plane inside the big tilt. So this is how I'm working with this, uh, my stat apps and uh, uh, the big tilt app and I, I and I create the plane because the players because I've got the stat of the players. So this is how I, I'm using it, and and we maybe Ike we can we can talk about that. My baby in the future we will have a stat app inside the big tilt to to be able to create directly a, a training plane for all the players. Yes, very good. Um. We have a question from uh, Daniel Bowden um, to the coaches. Uh, coaches, which functions of Bictel do you use most often with your better players? Uh, I coach D1 college golf and currently use Sampad Lab and Trackman putting with my players. Can Bictel integrate with Sam at all? Thanks so much. So... Can Big Tilt integrate with Sam at all? Uh, I guess this is a, a question for you, I Ike. Uh, maybe later uh, regarding the what what I use the most. It will be uh, something we will talk about it in, in the next video. It's what what we call the corridor, explaining to players that uh, there is not only one solution to put the ball in the hole, but uh, uh, how the speed and the line will match. The, so this is my the one I use the most, but I don't know about Mark and, and Cam and Cameron, but this is the one I, I, I love. Yeah, yeah, I, I can chime in, I think, on this one too, uh, G and Heike. Um, so, uh, yeah, Daniel, thank you for the question. So I, I coach down here at Florida Gulf Coast University, um, and I'm primarily working with college players. I'm, a, I'm a, an avid Sam Putlab user as well. 
Um, as far as the feature I use most with Big Tilt is the ability to test players on slope. So I think a lot of times as coaches, we, we look at baseline technique and we use SAM a lot on, on level surfaces. Um, but what I found is a really cool feature is being able to use SAM putt lab um, and actually test players on slope from a few different distances. It's really eye-opening to see how stroke patterns change and how players' concepts may, may really influence how they move um, the putter on, on a slope surface. Um, and then I think the other cool thing is if you're a SAM Putt Lab user, you also might be familiar um, with some of the new SAM uh, projection features. They obviously have a, a projection software as well, and Big Tilt can integrate with that. Um, that's something that you would work with Heike and in the, in the Big Tilt, uh, excuse me, the Well Putt custom team on. But we have had users pair some of the SAM Putt Lab features with um, the Big Tilt uh, platform. Yes. And also the, the Big Tilt is, um, it's one of the big advantages is that it is customizable also uh, from its hardware point. So that means that, for example, with Quintic system, when the camera needs to be exact on the same height like as the ball, uh, we can lower the edges. And like this, you'll have the Quintic uh, system, which is just on the side. Um, Sampad Lab, yes, definitely it works together. So it depends a little bit on which version of the Sampad Lab uh, you want to, to work with a big tilt. But we are discussing with Sampad Lab and there are perhaps even more, uh, more things which will happen together with them. And we have, um, yes, so we can also, we are working on integrating um, force plates into the into the big tilt of flooring. So that is a request which we had very recently and we are able to do that. So we just need the specifications of the force plates that you would like to integrate and we are able to do that. I guess I key, if, if I can add something regarding force plate, we will add at the beginning, we will add only balance plate. Um, force plate will be way more, um, where it's going to be too big and it's going to be too dangerous for, for our system for the big tilt. Um, but the balance plate is, is way smaller and we will be able to, to put balance plate really easy in, into, into the, the platform and, and i guess and, and i'm we can all share uh about this but i guess balance plate will be enough uh for putting force plate is in my opinion um not useful for putting but regarding uh balance plate it could be very useful and we will have that in in the balance plates very soon yes. i don't know what do you think uh, mark and cameron about balance plate or force plate but my guess is balance plate could be enough at the beginning. Yeah, I agree entirely. Um, we got two more questions. We got an anonymous attendee who asked for what pros are using our system. Uh, I guess, Ike, you will be way better than me for answering that question. I do not know if we're allowed to to tell all the players who already have the system, but we got we got a lot now. I if, they to get, if they intend to get better indoors, then they all should be using it, shouldn't they? <laughs> I would prefer, yeah, to send. So something we have got on our website, uh, a big tilt locator. And there you can see all the, so now we are at 135 big tilts all over the world. Uh, in um, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Europe, of course, USA. Um, Mexico, et cetera, et cetera. And you just can go to the different places and you will have the information of uh, the owner. If it's a public place or a facility a pro, you will have the name. And if it's a private owner, you will just have uh, the, the private owner information without any per uh, personal information, of course. And uh, so, yes, I think the best is that you can, uh, you can yes, uh, have a look on the Big Tilt locator, which will give you a good uh, over, overview about that. And, and we have and one yes. more question from Patrick Lehi. And it's a great question. Uh, uh, Patrick, does Big Tilt allow the whole size get smaller for a more aggressive line to simulate necessary accuracy? Uh, it's a great, great question. We do not have these features. Uh, but we will add add this for sure because it's 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 a it's a great question and it, and it's a great uh, feature we're gonna we can add and the great thing about Wellput also is um, 
all the ideas you guys have regarding what is could be good uh, for you to, to coach, we can, if it's doable, we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would just add to that too, too G and, and Patrick, we appreciate you being on tonight, um, is that um, the cool thing about when you change the capture speed is it will give you the angle, um, both in free and in point mode that the golf ball will enter the hole at. And uh, well put, we do have um, uh, uh, entry point rings that you can uh, input into a physical golf hole um, to uh, that will reduce the size of the hole. And then you can focus the entry point of that ring um, directed to whatever capture speed you'd, you'd want to practice with, with the player. Um, but adding that as a dynamic uh, training option with the ghost hole could be really cool. So that, that's something that we'll have to chat about for sure. Thank you, Patrick. Yes, and we have good. Now it's all already okay. So um, yes, for the moment, I think uh, these are all the questions that we have for this part. Um, and thank you for all that, th those great questions. Yes, yes, very interesting questions. And also, yes, if, um, yeah, I think we are ready to go to the next part. I'm sure that you will have many more. Um, uh, so let's go for the next part. Hey, Mark, how are you? Gee, you doing well today. Thanks Great. for being here. Thank you for having us. So we are on your studio here at FGCU uh, on your big tilt. Mm -hmm. You have it for a long time, right? Yeah, about four years now. Okay, and using it on a daily basis, right? Every day. Me too, I've got the same and uh, I can not work without it. And uh, what I like is being able to use it to find the right setup, the right position for every player coming sure. to, to see me for putting. And I know you're doing the same and it will be awesome to show our audience how we can do that to help them to create the perfect setup and having a lot of consistency on the setup. Yeah. First on a straight putt, and after that, repeat that on slopes. 100%, yeah. Please, agree? please, walk, walk me through exactly how you train it. Uh, first of all, it's, yeah, I, I put the, the big tilt uh, flat and I draw, I mean, I project that line, straight line, uh, okay. around between 10 and 12 feet. And I put the first ball, it's gonna be your, your ball, your setup, your position, and I will put three balls. The first one, I will put it like four feet. Okay. Three and two, like this. And the goal will be that you will be able to see those three balls aiming to the hole. It should be directly into the center of the hole. Absolutely, okay. exactly like the line. And I would do this from my setup position. Please. Okay. But the thing is, I'm going to take that line half. Okay. So we're only going to have the golf balls then remaining. Yes, sir. This drill. Like this. So now we have to find a solution for you to aim perfectly and see these three balls target I, I want to say targeting the hole targeting the middle of the hole so we need to find a solution so when you're in, in can you take your normal stance great so where are the three balls yeah. pointing yeah so right there they're pretty much um on the line they might be just slightly right of center of the cup okay so we need you to aim a little bit more left yep. okay so in order to do that, you got multiple solution. Usually when people aiming too far right, for you it's a little bit right, as because they could be too far from the ball. Sure. Or your head tilt could be uh -huh. a little bit this way. Sure. So first of all, and this is what I see, can you be sure to maintain this head tilt and neck tilt to be sure your high line will be, sure. I mean, parallel to the target line? How do you feel like this? Is it better or not yet? Yeah, that definitely shifted it. Okay. Yeah, just changing the tilt, just, I mean, what is that, maybe a degree? Yeah, and two at most. I would like one more thing. Can you be able to move your stance a little bit far away from the ball? 
just sure. a touch and be able with this position to be more a little bit more tilted sure, yeah. like this and a little bit more over the ball. Mm -hmm. How about now? Yeah. And with the head tilt like this. Sure. A little bit more parallel with the Yes, uh, please. The yes, eye. yes. I like that quite a bit right there, G. Okay. Can you just... Can I try to set up that yes. way again? Yes. And I will take my putter, and I'm going to show you what I saw at the beginning and why your tendency was to aim a little bit too right. I like that right about there. Wow. That's amazing how much just minor adjustments yeah. can really change a player's perspective. Isn't Absolutely. It? What I saw at the beginning, it, you were a Please little bit me. like this with a lot of weight on your heel, okay. a, little bit, a little far from the ball with your head tilting a little bit like this. I will sure. face the camera with the outline aiming to the right. So my That's main it. focus for you now is to be a little bit further from the ball to be sure you will get more tilt and your eye line going to be directly to the ball. Sure, a little and bit more on top of it. Yes, sir, and be sure that you get no more neck neutral. tilt and more neutral. Neutral head tilt. Okay, so now we know that. We're going to create a perfect setup. The perfect setup will be to make sure that you will be every time at the same distance from the ball. Sure. And we're going to use that mirror. What we call the well vision is going to come very soon on the market it Brand will be product, yeah right? it will be even better than this because we're going to take off this is a um, uh, better version I want to say sure. or a project but it's going to come very soon without that line so you will be able to see exactly where your high is going to be the highest position is going to be very important for Excellent. you so this will allow me to practice with feedback absolutely on exactly where my eye alignment is located. absolutely I so love that. we're going to do that first and put that here Okay. Let me do that perfectly. And this is where we can use the big tilt projection to guarantee that our um, yes. alignment of training aids is perfect every Absolutely, time. Absolutely, sir. So, oops. Just make sure look a little bit. So, this is why it is so cool. Look wow, at that. that. Fit perfectly, right? Yep. So, no more guessing, right? No, no <laughs> guessing. <laughs> we do exactly not like guessing. Right. And now we're going to set up the distance from the ball. So, so for me, it was a little bit further away than normal. Yes, sir. It's a little bit more forward bend in my torso, and that eye line being nice and parallel to the hole. It's pretty good right there. And so then as a student and or a coach, we can then customize a stance line for the player, correct? Yes. Look at that. So I just oh. find the perfect distance That's for you. So cool. And we can totally customize this. Correct? Absolutely. This totally customize. And I will That's even awesome. put, yes, I like that. I like, so now we're going to go back to your perfect setup. So. We need you to be a little further from the ball, yep. and you need, yeah, can you take it? We walk in one more time. Yes. Okay. I want your neck to be a little bit more tilted, like this, a little further yep. from the ball, and like this. Perfect. So how's the aim now? That looks pretty doggone center of the hole to me, G. Perfect. So we need two things. I need the first of all, I'm going to set up the distance from the ball. Okay. And you will have the same every time. A little more. So you're 10 inches. Perfect, a perfect 10 inches. This is the first thing. Okay. And after that, I will put your for position for each foot here. Excellent. And this is your template. Perfect. So it and literally marks where my toes need to be. Yes. Every time yes. I walk into it. Yes. Wow. What a great feature. So this is the first thing. And look at that. You got your own template. You're 10 inches from the ball. You got left and right foot over there. Perfect. So this is the first thing, and I love it. So you got your distance from the ball. You will have a lot of consistency. Sure. 
with this. The second thing is your head position. With the mirror here, yes. you will be able to tell me where is your left eye. Yeah, just uh, looks to me just like uh, inside the target line. Okay, but just right over the golf ball. Here, right? Correct, yep. Okay, so if it was your mirror, I will put with a Sharpie or something else. Oh, sure. A mark here, and it will be your left eye position 100%. to be able to have this consistency on an everyday basis. I call that the putting vitamins to be sure you will have that. Oh, I love that. Every day. What a great term, because literally these are skills that as golfers we need to work on on a daily basis. Sure. Right. These are things that can maybe even change without us knowing it. Absolutely, because every day your body is going to feel different, yeah. and because you're tired, because a lot of possibility reasons, yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and you will come to the ball and say okay today I feel this way today I feel this way but feel is not what we recommend we recommend to have the same setup every day and to be sure you're on the right position to be able to aim correctly if you aim too far right or too far left you know how as a putting coach you know how difficult it's going to be to have a perfect stroke you will need a lot of compensation so it yeah. will be awesome this and, way and, you know I, I know you'll agree with me Jay is that when we, especially when we're working with amateur golfers, their setups don't just change fractionally, they change quite a bit. Absolutely. And I see so many stroke errors that start to develop just because our, their setup gets so far off um, on a daily, even then weekly basis. And so rather than you know, having to overhaul maybe the, the stroke uh, mechanics themselves, if we can really lock in the details of the setup and get consistency in the setup environment, um, I, I see that from a coaching perspective really clears up a lot of errors. 100%, for sure, and that's why well put create that perfect template because they yeah, I love that feature. yeah on a daily basis when they go to the PGA Tour event they saw that players have their own templates and they will repeat it every day and if the best player in the world doing that I mean not the best player need to do that also right <laughs> so this is why help everyone yeah so helping. this is why yeah. is this is so cool to be sure you aim the right way and to be able to repeat it on 100%. I mean, every day 100%. or every week or every Sunday for amateur players. So exactly. now you got your setup. How about doing that on slopes? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So let's do slopes, right? Excellent. Which one is your favorite, right to left or left to right? Uh, normally, I like right to left putts more. Right to left more? Yep. We're going to do left to right. <laughs> You're killing me, G. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's do left to right. We're going to do just... Two percent slope left to right. Okay. okay. Moderate amount of slope. I like that. So we're gonna take all these balls away. What is super cool with the big tilt is even when the big tilt is moving, it's tilting, you can Walk on it, you can do everything you yeah. want because it's, it is so strong that you can do everything. So let's do that. We're going to play on this hole, we're going to use that, and we're going to play on this one. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do is, I've got your setup already. Already programmed, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Should everything I use the same? Again, or? Please. Please. Because we got your stance position right but i also need your eyes position so especially your left eye we know that your left eyes must be here perfect so we got everything set up there to be sure you will be in the same position on every putt okay. and on this slope but what i like to do also and i want your feedback on this as a player and as a coach mm -hmm. i will put the oops No, sorry, totally my fault here. My bad. Okay, let's do that. I like to do the aim, aim point, aim line. Okay. To be sure that we will put the mirror in the right position here. Ah, perfect. Yep. And just put that line a little shorter here. We're good, right? Yeah, it's more of a start line for our. Part. Yes. Like so that. we know that we're perfectly. Your setup is your setup, and it's perfectly like your straight putt. Sure. So let's try that. Go ahead and get up, set up the same way now. Yeah. Left, I, I left love eye. that stance line, how easy that makes it. Yeah, and I love left that. Okay, left eye. Yeah. 
pretty cool, right? I love that. Can I go ahead and hit it? Please. What's wrong? So to me, that definitely felt like a little bit of a speed error. Yeah. What Only I loved speed. was the feedback that Only it started speed. online. Only speed. Can you do one more? What is your normal speed? Are you more like a full in line or more aggressive guy or yeah. more in between? I would say I tend to be, if anything, more of a die-in player. Okay. Uh, just putting on faster greens. Yeah. Lucky to be in Florida, right, for that? Yep. Very fortunate. This one was a little bit a little too firm pace yeah. for me. So let's do this. Let's do what you're used to do. I'm going to mm -hmm. take off both lines and we're going to keep, I mean, your line. Oh, you're, I love this. Yeah, you're more like This a, is my kind of projection. Dude. Yes. So it's going to be what we call the falling line, almost a dying ball in a hole. Excellent. And so we, it's, everything is now for you. You got your speed, you got Perfect. your stance, you got your high position. This is your putt, right? Exactly, 100%. And I love how the uh, start line of my putt automatically adjusted when you change the speed setting. So easy to get this set up. Do you want to keep the, the, the start line or you don't want it? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I'd keep it on there. For you now. can have this line if you want because we know and we talked about it before. We got some players we need a very yeah, long total, end point. Yeah, total, total, total start line yeah. players sure. want to be just outside the left foot. So it depends. And this is why it's so cool. It, it, this is for everyone. We're not, big tilt is not uh, a method or is not uh, mm -hmm. for everyone. We can customize for every players yeah. on the planet. What I love from the coaching perspective too there, G, as you just demonstrated, it used to be setting up putting schools, teaching putting lessons. We'd have to have string lines out. You'd have to have tees all over the putting green, right? We're picking up ball markers. And to just do a simple change like that from a start line to an aim line, I mean, that could take two or three minutes. We just push a button, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. It makes so, it so, so, so easy. easy. And what is super cool, because we can talk about this for two seconds, if, if you agree, and I want to have your take on that, but really often we got people coming to us and say, okay, but you're putting on a synthetic surface, artifi mm -hmm. artificial turf, right? Sure. But I mean, for putting, when you want to learn putting and to be sure your technique is good, is way better because when you're in, in, in a real green, unfortunately, and we love also real greens, right? <laughs> but percent. on the real greens, uh, it's not the same because people, yeah, I mean, it's, there is a lot of imperfection on the real green. So yeah. in terms of learning putting, this is way better. Yeah, I think this gives us consistent control of the surface and environment, Agreed. right? Agreed. It helps take out variability. We, we can sure. baseline players a little bit easier uh, totally than agree. using a synthetic surface. That's why synthetic turf is not bad. It's very good to be sure you get some consistency and it's not the green and perfection is going to come in play. It's, yeah. it's way better. Yeah, certainly for building confidence. Yes. Too. Can I get one more shot at it? Please. Let's knock it in. So I have the aim line, I have the yeah. diet. Uh, in or the fall line pace and, now. And 10,000 10, people watching you now. <sighs> no pressure, right? Yeah. Good setup. Custom for me. Got my head tilt. I like your setup. Looks really good. Right speed now. Everything's good. Oh, added a little bit of extra pace to that, I felt, in my yeah. right arm, just yeah. a touch there. Absolutely. I feel that your dynamics, your um, acceleration through the ball was a little bit too fast, right? Yeah, I felt that. What I like too is also as I work through my pre-putt routine, I can even use the stance line as I set up next to the ball, right? It's already Love there it. and calibrated. Love it. Me. Let's give it one more go. Love it. Love it. Ooh. Oh, come on, no big, big deal. <laughs> Well done, Mark. It was great. Thank you for the demonstration today. Some really no, cool features. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, I think I can use in my coaching as well. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I mean, you can do that for left to right, right to left, short putts, even longer putts, and sure. you will be sure on um, if you do that every day on the golf course will be so much easier. Yeah. And just having confidence that hey, I know I'm setting up consistently each Absolutely. time in the right way for me. Yeah, so and, cool. and the setup is for 
to reason and maybe we have to tell that before, I have to tell that before, but it's to be sure your aiming is perfect for you and be sure you will be at the right distance to get the right stroke. So setup is everything and you can have it every day with this. 100%. Thank you, G. Thanks. Uh, we, we have received another question. Maybe we could uh, reply to this one. Uh, Guillaume or Mark, I think uh, you are the most familiar with this with this uh, question. Oh, you have to you have to unmute. So the question is, can the aim line be shown at the distance for the player's aggressiveness or lack thereof? So identifying the distance that allows the player's best fall in speed. You want to take that one, Mark? Yeah, yeah, I can take that, G. Um, yeah, Patrick, I think so. Um, the aim line, the way that we define that with Wellput, we define that as, as the start line or the, the straight line out to uh, in, in aim point. So that line can be adjusted um, all the way up to equal equidistant with the hole, or you can bring it down um, all the way to the golf ball within like a six inch window, I believe. Um, uh, in your question, I think you, you may also be asking there, can you um, change the, the, the ball path and, and where, the, where, where the ball would need to end based on their speed? Um, you can't necessarily adjust that, but what you can do is pick from our three um, uh, ball speed corridors. So the fall in line, the well line, which would be the ideal speed and the aggressive line. And based on that, the aim line will self adjust. Um, so obviously with the diet in pace, you're gonna, the aim line will adjust to help the player play just a bit more break. Whereas the aggressive line, it'll be a more direct uh, aim line. So I hope, hope I'm interpreting that question, right? If I'm not, Patrick, feel free to, feel free to chime in again. Okay. Okay. Cameron, any comment on, on that video? <laughs> no, no, I think uh, I, I'm just as excited as probably um, anyone to um, integrate uh, all of the, the feature sets. So yeah, no, no further comment. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the last video and yes, here we go. There was another question there. Yeah. All right, just to be sure right. that. Oops. The question was, what is the def definition of optimal line 30 to 45 centimeter over the whole cup. I do imperial on that, on that metric, so you need, you need a yeah, uh, conversion. Yeah, it'll be like 30, 45 centimeter will be... 30 centimeters, 30, close to three feet. No, it wouldn't be that far. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be like, yeah, more than three feet, yeah. No, it's going to be no, uh, feet, feet, foot and a half. Is, isn't the well line uh, 12 to 18 inches fast? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And also the, the good zone and the in the on the putting mats. So I just don't know, know it in inches. So it is, yes, 30 to 45. Yeah. But I guess it's really tough, Patrick, to answer that question because what is optimal? Um, uh, optimal it's yeah it's i mean it's it depends on the players on a lot of things we know that um a foot past the hole um you're gonna keep a decent amount of the hole but uh optimal i don't know about optimal i think you'd find it situationally it depends on on the, the pot as well um whether there's um um, extreme downslope, extreme side slope. Players would um, audible to uh, choosing a different capture speed 
um, having a different total distance intent based on um, certain situations. Um, those situations could be just as much induced or um, caused by the position they are in the round of golf as much as um, anything else as well. So I think that's the flexibility that um, you're probably speaking to there, again, that um, when providing an ability to visualize those things and um, train those things, then um, if from a performance standpoint, you know, performer's standpoint, it, um, it gives them the freedom and flexibility to play and um, explore the ranges of um, start lines with speeds from distances across slopes, across training situations, perhaps even competitive situations um, with um, peers that they're competing against on the big tilt. So, yes. So I think the 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 next uh, question of uh, Patrick Kong is um, is answered with uh, Cameron's explanation. Sure. So. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to the last video. All right, G, good to see you today. Hey, Mark, good to see you again. Awesome. So um, I want to talk a little bit about how we can use Big Tilt to actually train uh, speed control, and uh, in particularly um, also how it might help us learn green reading skills. Love it. Um, so we have a right to left slope here, pretty good amount, about 4% of, of break. And uh, what we have represented here with the well line projection is the actual path of the ball. And um, currently we have it at what we call the ideal capture speed. Um, so a lot of players think that they really have a, a very narrow window in order to roll the ball down and make a putt. But the reality is there's actually um, uh, what we call a, a capture window or uh, even referred to as the putting banana of possibilities for the putt at hand. So I'd like to show you uh, a projection feature sure. here in Big Tilt. I like bananas. So if we go into the preferences menu, we can actually change the speed that we would hit the ball. And I'm going to show both the fall in and aggressive line at the same time. And you'll notice this creates a, a capture window of possibilities, doesn't it? Yeah, you, for sure. Do you tend to hit putts more aggressively or tend to die them in? Or are you die somewhere them in between? Die them in. More of a die yeah. in. So for you on this right to left slope, definitely you might favor the, the higher end Absolutely. of the capture window. But I think it's really um, good for players to recognize how big of a zone they have. Would you agree as a coach? Uh, absolutely, because usually when we, we teach people that say they, they show us only one line, and with this, I mean, visualization, this new way to come to the putt, they will say, okay, I've got a lot of possibilities. Just one line, one speed. I've got a, a, a ton of possibilities. Yeah. One thing I've noticed, uh, you know, coaching with Big Tilt now over the last four years is that step one is for players to identify the zone that they do have. But then what I think the real training skill is, is being able to recognize out on the golf course, hey, when would I use the more aggressive line? When would I use the, sure. the more diet in? But I think for developing the baseline skill set, I haven't found a better way of coaching it. Totally agree. Totally so let's agree. go ahead. We're going to have you hit this putt. Sure. You can kind of choose the area of the zone that you might prefer. But with a large break like this, there actually is a pretty significant window. Yeah, a huge one. And uh, the thing is, on this putt, for me, if I make the putt, it's cool. But if I do not make the putt, I don't want to have like a four, five, or six footer behind this. So exactly. I will use this falling line to be sure if I miss the putt, I will have a very short putt behind. Excellent. Let's go ahead and see it. Oh, so pretty good effort here. Oh, backdoored it. This man's a professional, right? You got this one on video, I hope so, because I'm not going to do it twice. One but take wonder. Yeah, it's, it's good. But yeah. the thing is, it's so helpful to get that line and to know exactly where to aim and what line you need to follow. So this exactly. is so good. And I'm using on a daily basis, as you are. And really often now, when I go on a golf course, I try to draw that line. I try to see that line exactly, yeah, exactly. the one I've got. On my big, on my big, on my big tilt. Sorry about that. So, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, what I've noticed with the players that, that I coach, I coach a lot of college level golfers, 
is they're able to develop the skill sets of visualization here in our putting studio. And as you mentioned, they're able then to take those skills out onto the golf course. I find that extremely valuable as a coach because trying to teach these concepts outdoors, trying to set up um, you know, ball markers, tees, string lines, um, we might be able to set up you know, one putt, um, but it takes us 10 minutes then to change to another where we can just push yeah. a button here. So let me go ahead and change the putt sure. that we have real quick. I'll have you hit one more, G. All right, G, so now I've shifted the projection just slightly. We're going to a shorter putt, about six foot. What you'll notice is this putt is not only right to left, but it's also slightly uphill, isn't it? Absolutely. That's what I love about big tilt is we can also practice slight uphill and downhill slopes with the well-lined projection system built in. So which line would you choose on, uh, on this putt now? Because this one is a little uphill, I will take a little bit more aggressive line on this one because I Excellent. want to keep speed on the ball. And I, with the fall in line, I know that maybe if I not super precise it will stay short so and I know because I'm uphill if I miss the hole the slope will I mean slow my ball speed yeah, down a little bit more forgiveness yeah, built absolutely. into the pot and that's exactly what we see with good players is they're able to adjust the speed that they hit putts when dealing with slope so give it a good stroke never a doubt Mr. Automatic right I need to can I bring the big tilt on the golf course? Because it will help me a lot. <laughs> this is where, again, taking yeah. those training visuals from, from green reading, start line, and speed control out to the course. Um, you can learn them here in a baseline indoor environment yeah. and then easily take them outside and coach them outside. And you just mentioned a very important point is when I train players, I like to use what we call the well line with the what we call perfect speed sure. and aggressive line where it's uphill and when it's downhill, I will use the well line and the fall in line to be sure that the, if we miss putt one more time, we will have very, very tap in putt and it was going to be very yeah, easy. Absolutely. So I like to do that and, and that make the players understand that when they're on the golf course, I also use for the fall in line what I call speed one mm -hmm. for the perfect line, perfect speed, speed two and aggressive speed, speed three. So on the golf course, I'm using this analogy and say, okay, I love that. we're down line, we're gonna use between one and two, and we're up here, we're gonna use two and three. So, yeah. I mean, this is very good to be able to make our players understand what they need to do here and bring that to the golf course yeah. on the real world. And I love what you said there, G. What you're able to do is really train adaptability, even sure. in an indoor environment and sure. setting. And what I like about it as a coach is we're essentially just then training that skill. We don't have to worry about imperfections on the green. We don't have to worry about the influence of wind or moisture. We have a consistent environment where, hey, we know we are just changing the speed that we're hitting our putt and really training that individual skill. You're so right. And even if both of us are really lucky to teach in Florida, right? Mm -hmm. um, if we want to give a perfect putting golf lesson, we need to go maybe early in the morning because we know that the green is going to be perfect and if we got someone's coming at five or six at night and want to work on yeah, the quality is going to vary tremendously yeah speed control or even short putts we know that it's going to be as not as effective that if we are here it's going to be six in the morning or six in the afternoon it will be exactly the same uh, perfection I mean. exactly exactly and again consistency and training sure. environment being so critical awesome well good work today sir Thank you very much. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Okay. So, I've got a question that I received from a private channel for Cameron. Um, Cameron, uh, what are the preferences of your top players uh, regarding the line? Is it uh, the fallen line and the well line, or is it more the aggressive line and the well, well line? Yeah, to a person, and that's uh, largely agnostic to gender, um, so it doesn't differ that much by, uh, based on gender is... Um, it's situational, as I mentioned in the prior response to um, uh, prior, the question. Um, there's a little bit greater of a bias towards the fall in line um, as I get to the LPGA Tour, just a slight bit of bias, but they recognize the need sometimes, as um, Guy had mentioned uh, when Mark gave him that uphill six-footer, breaking right to left, um, that the rate of deceleration of that ball traveling uphill is greater such that um, he can um, uh, take that more aggressive line. So, um, yeah, I, I think that um, in conversation with 
um, the world's best best players, their ability to regulate and match to their intent, the intended speed for a given line, it's just phenomenal. And so um, I'm not a coach that would stand in the way of that. I'm not a coach that would mandate that every single part needs to be rolled at a pace that uh, would cause it to travel a total distance past the hole. If we capped the hole, if the ghost hole was on top of the hole of 12 or 18 inches, whatever you, 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 one would want to believe. So. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, after that, um, I've also, uh, for everyone, um, kind of a new announcement regarding the evolution of the big tilt to make. So uh, in a very few times, I think this fall, we'll be able to have a big tilt and there will be an evolution on the hardware side. It won't be uh, the tilt until now is left, right, right, left. And you can also make uphill or downhill parts, but only on the side part or on the width part. And we will have a three axis tilt. So that means that uphill, downhill is possible and diagonal uh, pads also. So uh, the, the platform it, well, itself will be really like this, able to turn in and tilt in, uh, on three axis. And what is important for the big tilt as well to know for any uh, any uh, persons who are interested in buying them is that there are no license subscription fees and update fees. So we have got the new uh, the newest update upcoming in ten days, and it will be done automatically worldwide. So I have also seen that. Some of our owners are uh, in the audience, so they will receive uh, an email uh, tomorrow and with uh, some information about the new update with uh, training programs, which will be based on the um, on the strokes gained. And yeah, I think it will be even more fun. And uh, students will also be able to play by themselves, have short training programs and have these stats um they yes being able to transmit them to their coaches so cool so, it, it, yeah. I, i've got maybe a question for the audience and has the audience if there is some features they would like to see in the big tilt yes very good question just meanwhile uh, there is a question of um Colby Powell, uh, that I'd like to reply uh, if there will be a big tilt seminar at the big at the PGA show. So um, last year, maybe you remember that we did a webinar. Uh, this year, we won't have a booth, and this is because we'll we work on this big update of the hardware, uh, which will be presented as well on the next PGA show. So it will be ready probably before but we will present it at the next PGA show. And so uh, this year we don't have a booth. Uh, I'll be there. We are there together with uh, uh, the founder, owner of uh, Wallpad, um, Boris Ponsard, and uh, Guillaume will be here as well. Mark, of course, if anyone wants to stop by at the FGCU uh, a booth, uh, they uh, they can put you up, ask you any questions. And yes, so we will be back at the PGA show next year. And yes, what would you like uh, to see on the Big Tilt question to our audience? Um, I think we have got already some ideas. <laughs> and yeah, I would like to know as well if how many um, attendees here uh, use um, a Sampet lab or Capto or Quintic just to know how, how important it is for Wellput to know that the big tilt need to match with some, uh, tr um, not training tools, it's not exactly what I want to say, but some analyzers, tool. Yeah, an analyzer if you want. Yeah, yes. No replies for the moment. Okay. Okay. So, but we 
In, indeed, we have get uh, we had several times the request about the the Quintic uh, because it really needs a, an adjustment on the edges. So that's what we did, and the force plates, as I already said. Um, yeah. And, and I'll go back to what Mark uh, previously said about using the SAM on slopes. It's so. Um, I will say fun, but fun is not the right term. It's more how useful it is to to use the sand pad on, on slopes. And uh, with the big tilt, it's it's so so good to see the tendency of your players and why a player used to miss right to left and other one left to right. You can see why with the sand on the on the slope. So I really encourage everyone who got some uh, capto or sam or um, to see how players react to the slope. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I would just add to that G too that it's um it's also really uh, the, well the nice thing I found about big tilt is it also though gives you a perfectly level flat surface to baseline players on. So those of us involved in putter fitting, um, or if you want to um you know just look at a player's baseline technique, um you know sometimes floors in our studios aren't perfectly level. Sometimes synthetic turfs aren't ideal. So also having that ability to um, put it perfectly dead zero is, uh, is, is, is really great, particularly for the SAM putt lab users, um, because you can get really, really accurate calibration of your SAM unit. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. And this is, and this is a totally different, um, subject and I'm sorry about that. I care about for, uh, Patrick and, and Tony who has a cap toe, um, I love to know how you guys using it with uh, to calibrate and to be sure that you will aim the capital right at the beginning. And maybe we will try to do something with the well pot with the big tilt. Even if this year we know that capital is gonna come with a new um, with a new capital, we will be and you will be able to um, to calibrate it uh, to the target. But I mean, uh, it, it's good to see that how how many people using capto and we need to be sure that uh well but we'll have some features with the capto maybe yes okay okay i think so yes yeah, so we had the information that most of anthony also uses quintic and capto um Anthony, are you in South? You are based in South Africa, so uh, that's uh, one of the only parts <laughs> where golf is very popular. But we don't have a big tilt for the moment, so hope you'll be our first customer. I think um, yes. If we don't have any more questions, we are ready to. Um, to close this webinar, it will be uh, everything has been recorded. We will put it on YouTube and uh, send you a link to it, and you'll be able to to have a look whenever you want. And uh, if you have any questions uh, for the regarding the big tilt, please send us an email. Uh, you have received my email address in the in the in the invitations for the webinar or just send an email to bigtilt at wallpit.com. Um, yes, I think we are all fine for the moment. I'm one last question. So yes. One last question. Will, will there ever be a grain like simulation for the carpet to put in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> Uh, Green like simulation. Whoa. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's a very good question, uh, Johnny, <laughs> because we know, especially in Florida, how tough it is to put and to learn how to put on, on, on a grainy green. So yeah, maybe Cam, you want to add something? <laughs> oh. Oh, you're 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 on mute, Cam. Yes. Yes, Johnny, can you hear me? Now I ask you to unmute. Mute. Can't hear you. Ah, maybe. 
Anyone? Yes. yes. Good game. Oh, yeah, they went dead. <laughs> um, yeah, great. Super hard one to quantify. I'm not too sure that you could have um, an accurate calculation on that because the effect of grain um, can uh, magnify as green speeds go down, right? And um, uh, thatch in the grass increases. So what level of verticutting are, are we factoring into our grain calculation algorithmically? Um, just as much, probably you could go closer in all likelihood in um, making some sort of uh, custom uh, interface that uh, helps to assess the influence of wind for a given green speed and adjust break based on wind, um, even going to the extent of maybe setting up a fan um, at nine o'clock or three o'clock on a breaking putt and, and um, assessing the um, accuracy of that algorithm. But yeah, I think that um, to the extent that there weren't all that many questions asked, it speaks to the um, rich feature set uh, that uh, has been created uh, on the Big Tilt, uh, both the hardware and the software, clearly. Um, and it speaks to the um, near infinite number of ways that it could uh, be used and, and, and put to task right now to help players improve um, every aspect of their putting performance um, in a... Um, very efficient um, and well-designed um, interface, just as much as a well-designed, um, uh, let's say, training progression um, that moves from um, the skill health and into um, the facets that would um, marry together to yield the result that we all look for, right? Standing over a putt, which is a made putt and, and a fist pump that follows. So um, I say well done to everyone and thanks for including me on the call.